OK, so let's move on from projects and let's talk a little bit about the diary. Now, everybody that's ever used a mobile phone would have probably come across the diary. Gal uh, Google have one with uh, Google Calendar. Uh, iCloud have them. There's all sorts of diaries and other services out there that are available. And they're all very good. Anything that isn't pen and paper has got to be better. However, there's a big difference with Powered Now. If you're using Google or iCloud or Outlook or any of these other calendaring services, they're good at being calendars, but it doesn't tell you the whole story. There's a lot of information to an appointment. An appointment has a customer, and maybe that customer is a good payer or a bad payer. Maybe that customer didn't accept the quote you sent last week. So there's all sorts of information and PowerNow is connected. It has all this kind of deep, rich history around it. So let me show you what I mean. So let's go into the PowerNow diary. And again, this is on the left hand side here um, on the mobile version. If you just click the navigation, you can choose the diary. Uh, there's a few ways you can organize your diary. Um, I've got the day view turned on at the moment. But I can see a week, I can see 14 days, a month, and we also have this agenda view where you can just see everything that's happening in the business. Let's hop back onto the day and take a look. So you can see that I've got, already got a few things on my diary. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I've got a quote accepted and quotes accepted here. Now, what PowerNow does, and you can turn this off, it also keeps a track, uh, a history of everything that's happened. So when a quote is sent out and it's accepted or rejected or an invoice is paid, it's actually marked on the diary. So if you wanted to have a quick look, oh, you can see that Larry the landlord accepted that boiler install quote. So you can actually go ahead and take a look at that document. So it's just keeping track of how your business is running. Now for very busy companies and businesses, I actually suggest that you turn these notifications off. You can do that in the settings.